In this problem, we're going to convert between gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. And I'll try, to sh I'll try and show several, several strategies here to think about this. And I think one of the most friendly are ratios. So here we know one gallon, one doesn't equal four, but what we're saying is for every one gallon that you have, that's the same thing as having four quarts of something. And this keeps going, one quart of something is the same as having two pints. So these are ratios. And then one pint is the same as having two cups. And that's gonna help us. So Jennifer makes fruit punch for her family. She prepares a total of two gallons of fruit punch. How many cups of fruit punch does she make? Okay, so we're going from gallons to cups. And I, I think what's nice about this problem is they, they're saying, well, we have two gallons. Well, if our ratio is one gallon, we're gonna rewrite this whole set here as if it were dealing with double or two gallons. So if one gallon is four quarts, multiply both parts by two for two gallons. So two gallons is equal to what? Eight quarts. And then, well, now we have eight quarts. But here we have one quart and we wanna eventually get our way to, to cups. So what do we do? Well, we know what eight quarts equals, right? It equals two gallons. So one quart, let's, let's rewrite this ratio in terms of having eight quarts. So eight quarts, right, we take one, multiply it by eight to get eight quarts, is going to be equal to two times eight, or 16 pints. So now we're working our way through, and we're on our last, our last ratio. Now we know that every one pint has two cups. Well here we have 16 pints, so that's eight, 16 times as many, excuse me, pints. So I'm gonna rewrite this ratio by scaling up by 16. In other words, by multiplying by 16. So 16 pints is equal to, well, every pint's two cups, so now that's 32 cups. And all I did there, the way I look at it, is to say one pint times 16 gave us 16 pints. And we don't wanna change the ratio, so we also multiply two by 16. And that gives us 32 cups. So retracing our steps, two gallons gave us eight quarts, Eight quarts gave us 16 pints, and that makes sense, right? We're multiplying each part here by eight. And then we know what one pint was, but here we have 16 pints, and that's equal to eight quarts, which is equal to two gallons. And then that all together, right, eventually we get to the step where that's 32 cups. And you can write this as one large ratio. Two gallons gives us eight quarts. Eight quarts gives us 16 pints and 16 pints gives us 32 cups. These are all equal to each other. So here the answer we're looking for cups. The answer is J32. All right, hope that helps.